Good day, folks. Today we're going to go over a series of tips and tricks for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. So every year when GoPro releases a new version of their Hero 8 camera, I like to make an updated tips and tricks video. Now some of the tips are similar to past generations, but with every new release there comes a series of new tips that we can add to the mix. Now if you're brand new and you just received a Hero 8 Black, I encourage you to watch my beginner's guide. I'll include a link to it down below in the description of this video. It's a complete and thorough guide from start to finish to help you get familiarized with your new camera. Now with all that said, let's just get started. Now the first tip here is to do with the icons on the screen. You can see here we have a series of buttons that controls different aspects of the camera and different settings. Now we can customize these buttons to suit our own shooting styles. For example up here at the top we have a slow motion button. If I press on it and hold you can see this new menu pops up and we can change what that button does. So you can go through all the different options and find one that suits you the best. For example there I've just set mine to wind. So if we go back to the main screen there, you can see that that new icon has been updated. So it's a really handy feature and allows you to add shortcuts to the settings that you use the most. Now another way to change those icons, if we go into our modes, we can scroll down to the bottom and you can see here we have a section called on-screen shortcuts. So we can manage each button from that section as well. Now another little quick tip here for you. When you're filming, you can see we have a lot of clutter on the screen. At any given time, you can just touch the screen and you can see that all goes away. That makes filming and lining up shots a lot easier. To bring all the information back, we just touch it again. Now for our next tip here, we have included this in past videos, but it's a little bit different for the Hero 8 Black. On the front here, we have a screen that kind of gives us some basic information. When we're changing settings on the GoPro, most of the time we're always using the back touch screen. However, that doesn't always work. For example, if you're underwater and you need to change settings, you're unable to do so. And not only that, if you have this in any kind of protective housing that has a solid back on it, you can't change the settings either. Or perhaps you're doing some outdoor winter activities and you've got big thick gloves on, Getting in there and touching the screen is not that easy. GoPro added a feature that allows us to change settings by using this front screen as a guide. And this year it's a little bit different. Before we could go in and change individual settings, now what it does is it allows us to go in and set our custom modes. So to access that feature, we're gonna press the mode button on the side, and once we've pressed it, we're gonna hit the shutter button at the top. You can see there right away the front screen has changed and we can use the mode button to cycle through the different settings. If you've created any custom modes, they'll be listed in there as well. Once you get to the mode you want, you just press the shutter button at the top to select it, and you'll now be shooting in that mode. So that feature comes in handy in many different situations. Now this year with the Hero 8 Black, it's the first year GoPro has allowed us to set our own bitrate. The bitrate is basically how much data is recorded. A higher bitrate will give you a much better quality video, however the file sizes can be quite large, and when editing those files can be a lot more demanding on your computer or smartphone. So there's going to be some times when you're shooting and you want the absolute best quality, but there's going to be other times where you maybe want to bump the bitrate down just for smaller file sizes and easier editing. So to adjust the bitrate, basically we're going to to click on the button where we change our modes and with this setting you can set it per custom mode for example I'm going to go into my cinematic setting and as we scroll down to protune you can see here we have bitrate and right now it's set to low if we click on it we can swipe up and that now puts it to high now going into our next tip here we're going to talk about shooting modes that was a new feature that GoPro added this year with the Hero 8 Black it's a really handy feature and it can save a lot of time when out in the field so to create a new mode we're going to hit this button at the bottom you can see here it has all our modes listed. We can go in and edit each one of those modes to customize them to whatever suits us. However, if we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that there's a plus sign. If we click on it, that brings up a new menu where we can set all the parameters we want for our new mode. So say you want a video mode that shoots in 4K in a super wide field of view. We can click on the resolution button there and we'll select 4K. We can then set our frame rate and I'm gonna leave it at 60 frames per second. We can go back out of there. And then we can go through and set what other settings we would like to add to it. For example, I want the field of view set to super wide, so I'm going to change the lens to super view. And then we can just go through and change whatever settings that suit us. Once we're done, we hit the check mark at the top right hand side. Now it doesn't give us an option to set a custom name, but it does have quite a few different uh, icons and names that we can choose from. So I'm just going to set mine to epic. And now when we go back to our custom settings, you can see there that we have an epic custom mode. So that saves a lot of time and you can have as many custom modes set as you want depending on the different activities you do and the settings you want. Now another little quick tip here for you, and this is new with the Hero 8 Black as well, they finally added grid lines. Grid lines can be really important when framing a shot. So to access our grid lines, we're going to swipe down from the top. And this button down here in the bottom left hand corner, we're going to press it to turn it on. 
And I don't know if you can see that on film, but you can uh, see there's grid lines there. It's really handy when lining up a shot, for example, when you're doing a time lapse or you're recording a video. Getting a straight horizon is very important. With GoPros, especially when you're in a wide field of view, sometimes it's really hard to get the horizon level. It kind of looks level on the screen, but when you get home and you preview it, it's a little bit crooked. So those grid lines, you can see if I'm lining it up with the back of my desk, you can see that you can really line up the horizon quite easily. So that's a really nice new feature that GoPro has added with the Hero 8 Black. Now the next tip here is locking the exposure. With the GoPro, you can lock the exposure, and that can come in handy for many different scenarios. And to do so, all we do is press on the screen, you can see here we get this little uh, icon that pops up and wherever that icon is is what it's exposing to and you can drag it around to different parts of the screen. Once you find a spot and everything is exposed properly and that's where you want to lock it, you just press on it you can see that little lock appears in the box. You can then hit the check mark. You can see that that lock box is now grayed out if you can see that there. But now you can go ahead and film what you're filming and the exposure is not going to change. When you want to get rid of the exposure lock all you do is press on it and it turns it off. Now another important feature that's been available on all GoPros and that is the ability to lock the screen. Sometimes when you're doing different activities you might not even be recording but you're just carrying the GoPro you don't want to accidentally change your settings. So to lock the screen what we're going to do is swipe down from the top and then we're going to press on that lock icon on the top right hand side just like that and the screen is now locked. So if we touch the screen now, nothing is going to change and nothing will happen. The only thing that happens is we get a message telling us to swipe down to unlock. So to unlock the screen, we just swipe down and we just tap it to unlock. The screen is now unlocked. Now if you're brand new to GoPro, you might not be aware of this. Normally to record with your GoPro, you power it on, you set your mode and away you go. But there's a feature on the GoPro called Quick Capture. And basically you can just press the shutter button when the GoPro is powered off. It'll just go right in and start recording. And that can come in handy in a lot of different situations. If something's about to happen really quickly, you don't have time to go in and set all your settings. You just hit the record button. You can see there it's now recording. When we hit the shutter button again, it's going to stop recording and power off. Now you can go into time lapse mode when using Quick Capture, and instead of just doing a single press on it to power it up and start recording, we're going to press and hold. You can see here it fires up, and it's now recording a time lapse. And again to finish, we just press it once, it'll stop recording the time lapse and power off. Now the next set of tips here is basically to do with the beeping and the LED lights on the GoPro Hero 8 Black. There could be times when filming where the beeps are a little bit inappropriate. Maybe you're filming in a quiet environment and the beeps are a little bit too loud. Or perhaps you're filming in a darker environment and you don't want the LED lights on. We can go into the settings and change the behavior of both the LEDs and the beeps. So to do so we're going to swipe down from the top. Now the first thing we can do here is you can see this little music icon. If we click on that, that'll turn off all the beeps of the camera. So they're going to be 100% silent now. But perhaps you still want the beeps on, you just want them at a different level, maybe just a little bit softer. What we can do is go into Preferences. We can go to General. You can see here at the top it says Beep Volume. We have settings from High, Medium, Low, and we can turn them right off again. If we continue to scroll down, you can see here we have a section called LEDs. If we click on it, it gives us the option to change the LED behavior. You can see here we have all on, we can turn them all off, or we can set just the front off only. Now the next couple tips I have here are for filming orientation. With the Hero 8 Black, you can film in a 9x16 orientation. You can see here when I rotate the screen, all the buttons change and we can now film in a 9x16 format. Most people don't opt to film in this format but it does come in handy from time to time when you're filming for things like Instagram stories. Now another thing you can do with your GoPro is film upside down. You can see all the buttons there have orientated themselves again. Once you're done recording your footage, it's not going to be upside down. The GoPro will automatically flip it around so it'll be the right side up. That can come in really handy when you're mounting your GoPro upside down, say under a bike seat or from a windshield. Now the next little tip here is kind of to do with the orientation. Sometimes you need to lock the orientation. For example, say you are filming in a 9x16, you don't want the screen to change. We can swipe down to get our settings and then we click on this little button here. You can see that the orientation is now locked. And it doesn't matter how we turn the camera, it's going to stay in that 9x16 format. And to unlock it, we just hit the button again, then it'll go back to normal. Now the next tip here is for when you're filming time lapses. So let's go over to our time lapse mode. Let's go to time lapse video, we're going to edit the settings. If we go down to ProTune, you can see here we have an ISO minimum and it's set to 100. You can also see we have an ISO maximum and right now it is set to 1600. What we want to do is set that to 100 as well. 
Now the reason why that's important is it will help prevent flickering in your time lapse. And it's especially important when filming something like a sunset or a sunrise. Now what happens if you don't set your ISO when filming say something like a sunset? As the sun starts to go down and the light starts to dim, the camera is going to automatically adjust the ISO to compensate for that. What you'll notice is as the image starts getting darker as the sun sets, It'll get dark, dark, and then it'll get bright again. And then it'll start to get dark, dark, and then it gets bright again. And obviously that's something you don't want when filming a sunset time lapse. So by setting the minimum and the maximum to 100, it's not going to automatically adjust. Now for my next tip here, if you're new to GoPros, you can actually plug your GoPro into a power bank and charge it while it's recording. So we're going to pull the side door off and you can see that exposes our charging port. Right here I've got a RAV Power 10,000 milliamp power bank. It's the one with a USB-C power delivery. So we're just going to plug in the USB-C cable that came with our GoPro and as I plug it in you're gonna see the battery icon change it's now got a lightning bolt in it so that's signifying that it's charging plugging your GoPro into a power bank can come in really important when doing long time lapses for example if you're gonna do a night lapse overnight you're gonna be filming from sunset to sunrise you're definitely gonna to have to have it plugged into external power just to get through the night now one important thing to keep in mind when the store is off it's no longer waterproof so definitely you can't go underwater uh, but you also have to watch out for moisture if you're doing an outdoor time lapse overnight say if it starts to rain you could potentially damage your GoPro GoPro. So you do have to take precautions. Now unfortunately GoPro this year changed the design of the GoPro. They've put all the different ports and uh, the battery and the memory card slot under one door. So what happens too when you do have it plugged in like that everything is exposed. Now I made a video on this little part here. You can buy this on Amazon. It's by a company called Ulanzi. You can see here it's very similar to the stock door that comes with the GoPro except it has a little cutout where the USB-C cable plugs in. You can attach it to your GoPro, close it, plug in your USB-C cable, and you can see there that everything's now nicely protected under a door. Now this doesn't make it waterproof, moisture can still get in there, but it does help keeping uh, dust and dirt and debris out of there. Now the next thing I want to kind of go over with you here is if you're new to GoPro, definitely go ahead and download the GoPro app for your smartphone. It's a really handy app, it's a great way to view your content, edit it, transfer it to your smartphone and share it to social media. But not only that, it works as a remote for your GoPro, so you can control your GoPro, say if it's mounted and it's not accessible. You can change all the settings of your GoPro on the fly when you need to. You can even power the GoPro off. But the app also has another important feature and that's to help you locate your GoPro if you've lost it. So you have it attached to your mountain bike and you're going through a trail and it falls off. You know roughly where it fell off but you're not quite sure it's maybe in some tall grass we can go to settings we're going to scroll down to where it says locate camera when we turn it on it's going to start the gopro beeping so that gives you an audible signal to where it's located so we're nearing the end of the video, but I do have a couple last quick tips for you, and it's basically to do with conserving battery power. GoPros have never been known to have great battery life, but there's a few things you can do to help extend it. So what we're going to do is swipe down to bring up our settings. We're going to turn off a few features to help you squeeze a little bit of extra time out of the battery. The first thing what we're going to do is turn off voice command. The next thing we're going to do is turn off beeping. Those two features there aren't going to save you a ton of battery power, but with everything combined, it will help you squeeze a little bit of extra juice out of the battery. But we're not done here yet. We're going to go into preference preferences and uh, we're going to go into connections first right now we have wireless connections on we're going to turn that off that's going to help you save some battery power as well but when it's turned off you're no longer able to connect to the gopro app it will also no longer allow any kind of remotes that you have for the gopro to work next we're going to scroll down to regional you can see here we have gps turned on we're going to go ahead and turn that off Again, disabling gps on the gopro will save some battery power the next battery saving tip is we're going to go into general we're going to scroll down to where it says auto power off. Now this isn't going to save you battery power per se, uh, but if you're like me quite often when I'm done recording, I'll forget to turn it off. I'll throw it in my bag and it will just power off on its own. Now, if you do that a few times throughout a day, of course, it's going to eat up a battery pretty quickly because it's running longer than what it really needs to. So we can set the auto power off from 15 minutes down to five minutes. So that way, if you forget to turn it off, it's going to power off after five minutes instead of 15. Now, the last battery saving tip is probably the most important. It's going to save you the most amount of power. If we scroll down to touch screen, you can set it all the way from 100 down to 10%. You can't turn it right off, but you can dim it right down. Setting it down to 10% will save you a lot of juice. However, it will be difficult to see on a bright day. There are ways around that by just covering it, but if you've got this mounted and you're filming, you don't really need to see the screen anyway. Once you've set your settings, you can just go ahead and hit record. Well, folks, that's basically my collection of tips and tricks for the GoPro Hero 8 Black. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, if you're brand new to the GoPro Hero 8 Black, definitely go and check out my beginner's guide. I'll include a link to it in the description of this video. Anyways, 
thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it had value. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.